Shirtless celebrations have signified some of the most iconic moments in soccer history. It really captures the raw emotion of the athlete just after they score a goal. Take Pele, for example, right? He's one of the greatest players of all time. Now here he is shirtless with Bobby Moore after their legendary match in the 1970s. It's not just a celebration, it became a statement. But with all traditions, this one evolved. Some players would take their shirt all the way off, some would just lift their shirt up over their head, while others took it as a way to reveal some kind of hidden message on their undershirt. In 1997, Liverpool striker Robbie Fowler lifted up his jersey to reveal his undershirt supporting striking dock workers. Now, the act cost him $1,400 fine, but it wasn't the only time players had made a statement this way. Francesco Totti did it in 1999, Arsenal's Terry Henry did it multiple times, and many other players used their undershirts as a canvas for a personal or political message, which turned this simple little celebration into a powerful statement. So athletes would continue the shirtless celebration, but one thing you'll notice is all these examples you've seen in the video so far have all been men. But at the 1999 Women's World Cup final, one woman changed that. USA's Brandy Chaston scored the World Cup winning penalty shootout goal against China, and in a moment that would eventually become history, she removed her shirt, dropped to her knees while in celebration, wearing only a black sports bra. Well, this moment immediately became iconic. Photos were snapped of it, they were shared on newspapers and magazines worldwide. It became not just a celebration, it became a symbol for empowerment, a statement that women could celebrate their victories just as boldly as men could. But the popularity of this moment also became a problem. Because if you take a second to look closely at this photo, there's something very important that you don't see. You don't see sponsors or brand logos. You see, sponsors pay a lot of money to have their name, likeness, and logos displayed on the jerseys, and especially during the most widely shared moments, goal celebrations. That's when all the photographers are taking the photos. And if you take off your jersey, the sponsor's logo disappears, and that's a big deal. Because while FIFA is technically a nonprofit, if we look back at the 2015 headlines, history shows us that money plays a significant role in how they operate. And let's not forget Brandy Chaston's moment happened back in 1999. Now imagine the backlash FIFA would have faced if they had immediately banned shirtless celebrations right after the world was celebrating this iconic moment for women in sports. It would have been an absolute PR nightmare. So shirtless celebrations continued without being penalized. But then something happened that changed everything. In September 2002, Manchester United's Uruguayan striker Diego Forlan scored a last-minute goal against Southampton. It became 2-1. And so in his excitement and celebration, he removes his shirt. And in doing so, he not just removes his jersey, he removes his undershirt. And when taking it off, the undershirt got tangled up with the jersey. So he continues his celebration. And while he's celebrating the match resumes. So he runs back onto the field, ends up chasing down the ball and makes a blocking tackle and continues playing for almost a full minute before they finally get him off to the sideline in order to fix his shirt. Now, this incident wasn't just amusing, it was literally a game changer. You see, it highlighted how shirtless celebrations could disrupt the flow of the game, and it might have been the final straw that FIFA and the IFAB, or the International Football Association Board, might have needed in order to make some rule changes. As the following year for the 2003-2004 season, FIFA imposed new rules punishing players who unnecessarily removed their jerseys. The specific rule for banning the removal of shirts during goal celebrations is found in FIFA's Law of the Game under Law 12, Fouls and Misconduct. And if you've watched any of my other ban technique videos on soccer, you've noticed that this same rule applies to many of them. The law specifies that a player must be cautioned or shown a yellow card for unsporting behavior if they remove their shirt or if they cover their face or head with their shirt as part of a goal celebration. So that's the rule, but why did they really ban this? Well, let's break down what they said their reasoning was. There's five things. Number one, excessive celebration. FIFA considers the removal of the shirt as excessive celebration, which can be considered unsportsmanlike. Unsportsmanlike is a yellow card. Number two, time wasting. They also say that removing the shirt can lead to unnecessarily delays as the player takes time to return to the play, disrupting the match's flow, which is what we saw with Diego Forlan. Number three, consistency in officiating. They say the rule aims to help provide referees consistent standards across all matches, and so they hope that it reduces subjective interpretations for unsporting behaviors, kind of like the incident we saw with Robbie Fowler. Number four, cultural concerns. They say that this rule addresses cultural sensitivities and public decency by making it a universal rule for both men and women. And finally, number five, 
commercial concerns. They say it provides confidence to sponsors because removal of the shirt diminishes the sponsor's exposure during these critical moments of the match and the most critical moment, goal celebrations. Now, just because a rule banning the celebration exists doesn't mean that shirtless celebrations have disappeared. Players will still do it, fully aware that they'll be penalized, but some moments are worth the price of a yellow card. These modern day rebels that you see on the screen here continue the tradition, knowing that sometimes the emotion of the game is worth more than the rules that govern it. Okay, bonus content here. There's two things I wanted to add to this video. For starters, when someone lifts up their shirt and there's something written underneath, that's actually addressed in Law 4 of Law of the Games, not Law 12. And then the second thing I wanted to address is in the video game FIFA. So if you ever played FIFA and you score a goal, it will give you an option to do a celebration where you can actually remove your shirt. And so in that celebration, after you take off your shirt, an official or judge or referee will walk over and they'll even in the video game give you a yellow card. So it's kind of cool how they've added that in. So hope you enjoy the video. Bonus content here. Have a good one.